His completion percentage is way up. His yards passing. He's three touchdowns and one pick. He's running it for 71 yards a game and two touchdowns. Dan, are we starting to see a bit of an emergence from Justin Fields in Chicago? Absolutely. And you got to be so encouraged by it because it's not a good situation for yes. a back to be in. And nope. we, we, like, here's the thing for Chicago, right? If you were being realistic and you said, what, what's the number one thing we need to get accomplished this year for 2023? Can Justin Fields play at all? Like, can we have any hope <laughs> right. for him? Right. That's really because it's such a yeah. bad situation. The answer is because the last two weeks, unequivocally, yes, this is a great stat right now. Yep. Oh, with the, the first round, unequivocally, yes, Justin yep. Fields. You've got to be so encouraged by it. Is, is he the best? If we go back to last year's draft, and you got Trevor Lawrence, one, it's been up and down. He had the uh, Urban Meyer was a mess. He's got Zach Wilson, we talked about him earlier. He just throws it to the wrong team. Trey Lance has barely been able to play. Mac Jones, really good year. This yeah. year, not as much. You could throw Davis Mills in if you want as well was in that draft. I, Justin I, Fields the best. Yes, I, I think Justin Fields will be the best, but I thought that Justin Fields should have been picked after Trevor Lawrence. You, you I said understood. that all year. I, I, I understood who Trevor Lawrence was, but I thought when we were looking simply at the talent that these players possess, I thought Justin Fields had the highest ceiling because of the arm, because of the talent with the legs, the athleticism, the explosion. And what we've seen the last two weeks is we've seen Getze, the offensive coordinator of the Chicago Bears, start to allow him to run the football, yeah. putting him in called quarterback runs, mm -hmm. which when you have an athletic quarterback, gets them in the flow of the game. Yeah. And we've seen Justin Fields play better, but there were times me and Rex sitting in this room yesterday where we were like, the receiver has to catch that ball. The receiver has to help Justin Fields out. This guy stands in the fire and delivers. Yeah, he does. And, and look, he, he is absolutely accelerating. I mean, there's no question about it. He's going to be a really good quarterback. But if I'm drafting again, I'm still taking Trevor still Lawrence. Lawrence. I'm still going to no. take him, even though he made Draft the stupidest yeah. play I've, I've seen in a long time yeah, on first and goal from the one. He throws a pick to lose the game. But he's got to grow. This is a guy that would have been drafted, Greeny, with the first pick after his freshman year, yeah. Yeah, that's sophomore real. and junior that's year. Real. Like, I'm sorry. So I'm going to be a little more patient there. And by the way, we're killing Zach Wilson. He did throw for 355 yards against New England, so let's not just kill him too bad no, and that's bury fair. him. I, look, I, I, I'm, I'm with you, but he also lost Three them picks. the game. He also lost I them know it. the game. I know. The, the, of that, there is no debate. <laughs> uh, debate. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.